our ordained men, uh, if you will, um, come forward and prepare to serve the Lord's Supper. As we read in the Scripture, the Apostle Paul said the Lord told him on the night that he was betrayed that he ate a meal with his disciples. And during that meal, he took a very common element, a very common food, the bread, and gave to his disciples. The Scripture says Jesus took the bread and gave thanks. I'm going to ask Joe Kuhn to give thanks for Jesus' body that he gave. Joe? Lord Jesus, we just pause at this time to remember the way you gave yourself, your body, your whole life for our sins. And we thank you, Father, from the bottoms of our heart that we might uh, just uh, uh, accept this food, this bread, in remembrance of you. For it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. And it said Jesus took the bread and he broke it and said, Take and eat in remembrance of me. And now we'll serve the cup. The scripture says Jesus, after the meal, took the cup. During the Passover meal, there were four cups introduced during the meal. One was a cup of uh, welcoming. One was a cup of teaching. One was a cup of thanksgiving. And then the last cup, the fourth cup, was called the cup of redemption, where they remembered the blood of a sacrificed lamb that saved them from the wrath of of the death angel. And Jesus took that cup, the cup of redemption, and says, now when you drink from this cup, you remember it represents my blood given for the forgiveness of your sin. I'm going to ask Jack Greenway to thank the Lord for the cup. Jesus, thank you for the blood you shed on the cross that gave us everlasting life. Amen. He said, drink in remembrance of me. The scripture says that when Jesus and the disciples finished the Passover meal and that special moment with the Lord, they sang and then they went out.